In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a template. Now, if you have a video series that you're running and you want to run uh, numerous videos under the same theme and use the same intro with different titles, you can make templates and keep them in your template bin and just bring them in before you add your uh, video. So what we're going to do here, my wife has a, uh, a series she does on the uh, on biblical aspects and uh, the theme here I'll show you here is uh, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God so she does a series on this on different topics and each time she does a video uh, I have to produce an introduction to it so I've decided I'll do a template which will cover many uh, different videos so Let's get started here. Uh, first off, I'd like to put in at the start of the video on the first track, I'd like to put in a uh, black screen here. So we're going to go, you see what I did there? I open my little sidebar here, which gives me a number of different choices. You can select color boards, background images, music, so on. So I'm going to go to a color board and I want to have a black intro so I'm going to select black I could select any of these colors but I want to have it start right here okay and we'll just play that and all you're going to see is just there you go five seconds of black introduction okay we're going to go back now to our resources back up to our media content you see up here and we're going to bring in our slide. Remember two ways you can bring it in. You can drag it down or you can right click on it and wherever your cursor is in red line you can just click insert select track right there. Okay and then we have some music that we're going to put in as well. So let's work with the first part right here. Uh, to expand, it's pretty tight in here. To expand this, you can just grab your track and open it up. Just give you, you see what I'm doing here? I'm just going on the track anywhere, holding my mouse down and expanding it. It's not increasing the time by any means. It's just expanding the track so you can see your clips a little easier. So, let's go back down here to our start. I'm going to play, play that. Okay, that's all I want. I don't want much more. Three seconds, roughly. You can see right here on the counter. Three seconds. So we're going to cut this clip using our split the clip. Right here, split the clip. Right here, going to right click remove gives you an option to leave the gap remove and fill the gap or remove and fill the gap and move all the clips so that's the one we want to select we're going to move the clips over there we go just like that now the clip here let's just play this right now <laughs> introduction music that we'd like to use but I would like the music to start right at the black when our video starts playing I want to have music a black screen it's kind of a bit of a gives a bit of a mystery and intrigue and gets people's attention right away they're anticipating seeing something coming up soon so we'll go on to our main track and we're going to split the video we're going to unlink the video from the audio. You just right click, go to unlink video and audio. Now these are two separate clips. 
So as I click off here, you'll see I can highlight one or I can highlight the other. Now I can move or do whatever I want with e each individual clip. So we're going to grab this audio here and we're going to take it right over to the start, like so. Now when we play it, okay, go back to the start, we can hit our back arrow and we're going to play it right from the start. So as soon as you start playing the video for someone, they're going to see black screen and some audio. Okay, that's about enough there. I want to be able in this area, if we look up here on the uh, monitor side and the screen, down below here is where the title is going to come in. So this template will be made without a title and each time I do a new video I can add a title in. But we're going to add a title in right now and then we'll delete it for our template just to show you how you can do that. So we are going to start our title okay. back here want to play in a little bit. so I'd like my title to come in about there so what I'm going to do so I don't lose this point go to your little triangle down here add a timeline marker okay so if this cursor and uh, cut line gets moved, I know exactly where I want to put in my title. Okay, titling. Go up to our sidebar once again. Open our titles. And we're going to use a text only. We've got different choices we can use here. There's all kinds in here. Credits, rolling credits, whatever. So I want to use a text only. And I'm going to grab this title. And I'm going to bring it down and lay it on my title track. Over here, you see the T for title on my title track. And you can see up here in our viewing screen the words have started. It says my title, but they're in white, so we can't see white on white. What we're going to do, we're going to click, double click on our title and get our title designer up here like so. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to go into the title here and I'm going to highlight all the text that's in there. Drag this down a bit. Go to my color selector and I'm going to select a different color so I can see it. Uh, I think she'd like, we're going to go with the purple royal purple. Put that in there and you can see it has just to start my title we're going to over, overwrite that and delete that in a second. So the first video that she uh, would like me to make a template for it's called let me just get the name here It's called The Danger of False Prophets. So I'm just, I'll show you here what I'm doing. I'll bring this in. Here's my file right here. It's called The Danger of False Prophets. And in this, I've got my videos, my templates, and so on. So I'm just going to copy this text instead of having to write it out again move this off to my second monitor and in here I'm going to paste it. Alright, so it's obviously a little big so we can come down over to uh, we'll grab it here bring it onto the screen like so. We can shrink it down as so. Bring it down again. And we want it in this area. Okay. So if you're happy with the font, 
I'm going to highlight my text again. I'm going to go over to my font. This Sigio UI, the font in this particular one. I'm going to go down here. And as I go down the fonts, you'll notice over here, it'll show me different fonts that I can it'll use. Uh, Oh, there's so many to choose from. Oh, we'll just stay with that one right now. So we'll select that. We'll grab this and center it. So, you see what I'm doing here? As I've grabbed the text right here, the four arrows, and I move it across sideways. Okay, okay, okay. As soon as you see the uh, bar, that means you're centered. If I go a little further, no, there, it centers it for me. And if we do that going upwards, there, it's centered in the middle of the page. I don't want it in the middle of the page, I want it right down here, but I do want it centered like so, maybe a little higher. Bring it down each time I'm clicking on this and highlighting this box. Okay. So, show you one other little thing you can do with this. Oops. Highlight my text. And to give it a little interest, we're going to go up here and we're going to look at doing an effect on it. We have some special effects. We'll select special effects. They have fire, lightning, lights, neon. No, there's nothing in there I want. So we'll back out of that and we'll try motion. No. Nothing in there we want. We're going to go to our uh, our file where it's all content, and we're going to go down here. And this is the one I want right here. It's called Wave. So we're going to get this one here. We're going to delete that one. We're going to select the wave title, bring it down to our title box, open up, and we'll begin again. So first off, we're going to select the color of the text. Got to select the text, change our color to our purple. Okay, bring it in, bring it down so it's in place. And we still have in our clipboard The Danger of False Prophets, it's our title. We'll shrink that down. Bring it in place, right there. And in the title designer, 
you can play this before you see it on your final cut. So we'll go down here and play right here. saw what happened there. Go back to the start. I'll play it again. All right. We can come down now and we'll say, okay, that's fine. That's how we want it. And we'll play right from the start and see how we're doing here. Okay, that's about all of the uh, intro I want. I don't want to make it too long and bore people. So we're going to put another timeline marker right here. See what we're working at here. Okay. Now what I would like to do is right where I've got this timeline marker I'm going to shrink the template that we're making. I'm going to bring it back to about here. Okay. I'm going to grab this video or audio and I'm going to bring it down to this audio track and you'll see why. So because what I want to do, I want to bring in at this point the video that my wife is doing. Okay, there's her video. Um, we have the title going right over top of her before she starts doing her video so we can grab our title we're going to shrink that okay and we're going to keep that on the intro then the audio right here I want to have it playing as she starts to introduce her video but first off we have to go and we have to quit it go here before she starts. We we're just talking about we're getting started. We got the camera set. And it's right about there. So we're gonna cut the video with our Split the selected clip and we're going to select this part we're going to delete we're going to hit the delete key and we're going to remove it and move all clips that'll take this out and move her clips all the way over to the start again now we can go down here to our bottom slider and play it from here and when God gives you a gift... So I've cut this a little bit too short. Go back to the start. Okay, today she's going to start talking about her subject matter. Highlight this again. Split the clip. Delete that. And you see it removed and filled the gap only to the today. cursor. So we'll just grab that and put it in place probably lost you completely if you're not that familiar with this. So we're going to play this and see how it comes in in an introduction. Okay, 
she starts off by saying today I want to talk to you about at this point right here but the music's too loud it's overpowering her so let's just show you how we can adjust the music I'm going to highlight the clip when we do that it allows us to bring up a keyframe we can place a keyframe on this track so we can adjust the fade the audio out but I don't want it to come right when she's talking I'd like it to start fading just as the the title is coming is ending okay so we'll place it right there that's where I'd like to be able to adjust my audio and we're going to go to open up keyframes and you see on the screen here this is our supposed uh, audio track fills this whole thing here and it duplicates where I put it on here so I'm going to put a keyframe right here and we're going to go to volume keyframe and you see it puts a little diamond right here okay and it's also put one at the end if you come down to the front to the uh, track here you can see there's a little dot there and a little dot there okay so we can close this off now what we can do is we can grab when we grab the little dot it turns red and I can pull that down like so and now it's going to fade from this point to nothing so let's just uh, back up the picture and we'll play it Try it again. Today, I want to talk about false prophets. Okay, it's still high. In fact, the entire track is a little high. So, what we'll do here is we'll go down to the track, we'll highlight our audio track, and we'll see this bar. And as soon as the arrows come, and we're going to drag it down a little. We'll pull it down and see if, what, uh, if it made much of a difference. No, I don't like that. It's still covering too much of her voice. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this dot. Oh, sorry, we have to go back to our keyframes. Highlight our track. Keyframe and we want to move this back to about here on our audio track you can see down here and we're gonna whole audio we're going to drag back oh it's not going to allow me to drag that audio back so we're going to go and play it here and see how she sounds a lot of trial and error going to take a lot of time That's a lot better. Yeah. And okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to cut this video right here. 
or sorry audio because a lot of this is just it's just dead time it's no there's no sound so we'll trim that we'll get rid of it get our delete key okay we're gonna go highlight back to our keyframes put it right at the very end put a new keyframe there you can see the little dot appeared on our screen and we're going to grab the little dot there we are. make sure it's right down oh. try this one more time Okay, so that's perfect. That's a perfect template. But there's one more thing I want to do. We'll come down here to our our title. I would like our title to fade in and fade out. Just give it a softer look. So we're going to combine that with our wave. So back up to our uh, transition room right here. We want to transition now. We want to fade it. So it gives you a whole bunch of options here. You can have cross fades, you can have whatever, but I just use the plain fade in, fade out. Grab this box, bring it down to the track we're going to work on. Right here. Put her in place. Grab another one, put one at the end. I'm working right here. Now that's a bit long of a fade, so I'm just going to shorten that up a little bit so we'll not only have a wave with our title we'll also have a fade and it so kind of softens it up a little bit you'll see right here when I play this so. Okay, template made, but we want to use this as a template. Uh, so I'm going to remove the things that I don't want in here. Uh, the title, the danger of false prophets. We're going to take that out because I'm going to do a new one for every video. And obviously going to remove the video as well. So we'll take that right out of there and we're going to delete it. I'm going to grab this and just move it out of the way temporarily right now. So this is our template right here. Uh, this will be, we'll start it from the start here. This portion here, right up into here, we're going to produce. We're going to go up to our produce, okay, and actually make a little video of this template so we can bring it in at the start of each new video and topic that she's going to talk about. That saves us a whole lot of time in making it all the time. The only thing we'll have to do is to bring in a title. Right, and make the new title with whatever it is she's talking about. Okay, I hope we've seen you've been able to see a little bit uh, on how to work with some of this stuff. This is uh, getting a little complicated, but if you watch the uh, previous uh, tutorials, you'll abs you'll see how the uh, things will all come together. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next tutorial.